Hi, so in this video we are going to learn how to find the value of sine 15 degrees, cos 15 degrees and we'll also learn how to find the values of sec 15, cosec 15, tan 15 and cot 15. So once we find the values of sine 15 and cos 15, all other things will be very easy. So if you remember the formula for cos A plus B was cos A cos B minus sine A sine b and if i assume a is equal to p is equal to theta then the formula for cos 2 theta will be cos square theta minus sine square theta i'll just substitute theta in place of a and b and cos 2 theta can also be written as cos square theta minus 1 minus cos square theta because sine square theta is equal to 1 minus cos square theta and this comes from the formula sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. So cos 2 theta can be written as 2 cos square theta minus 1 and similarly if I substitute 1 minus sine square theta in place of cos square theta cos 2 theta can be written as 1 minus 2 sine square theta and we also know cos 30 degrees is actually equal to root 3 by 2 right so all this we know and if we want to find the value of cos 15 i'll use this formula where cos 30 that is cos 2 theta can be written as 2 times cos square 15 minus 1 right so cos 30 is root 3 by 2 this is equal to 2 times cos square 15 minus 1 or you can say 2 times cos square 15 is equal to root 3 by 2 plus 1 which can be written as root 3 plus 2 by 2 okay or you can say cos square 15 can be written as root 3 plus 2 divided by 4 okay so this is the value of cos square 15 and you can find the square root and you will find the value of cos 15. But I have one small manipulation over here. I'll multiply this expression by 2 by 2. So this will be 2 root 3 plus 4 divided by 8. And this can be written as 2 root 3 plus root 3 square plus 1 square, right? The 4 can be written as 3 plus 1 and 3 can be written as square of square root of 3 and 1 can be written as square of 1 divided by 2 multiplied by 2 square, right? So this can be written as square root of 3 plus 1 divided by 2 whole square multiplied by 1 by 2. So this is the value of cos square 15 and yes, so cos 15 will be, you have to take the square root of the right hand side. So this is in the square. So the square root will be root 3 plus 1 divided by 2 and square root of 1 by 2 will be 1 by root 2. So this will be root 2. So the value of cos 15 is root 3 plus 1 divided by 2 root and now we can find the value of sine 15. So sine square 15 will be equal to 1 minus cos square 15 and cos square 15 was this. So sine square 15 will be 1 minus root 3 plus 2 divided by 4 and everything is inside the bracket. So this can be written as 4 minus root 3 minus 2 divided by 4 or this can be written as 2 minus root 3 divided by 4 or if I multiply this by 2 divided by 2 this will be 4 minus 2 root 3 divided by 2 multiplied by 4 I'm keeping it as it is and this is nothing but 1 by 2 multiplied by root 3 minus 1 divided by 2 whole square so sine square 15 is this much so sine 15 will actually be equal to root 3 minus 1 divided by 2 root 2. So this is the value of sine 15 and this is the value of cos 15 and of course you can say that you could have written 1 minus root 3 by 2 whole square. So 1 minus root 3 will give us a negative value whereas 15 degrees lie in the first quadrant where both sine theta and cos theta are positive. So to keep the value positive I have taken root 3 minus 1 not 1 minus root 3. So we have got the values of sine 15 and cos 15. Sine 15 degrees is actually equal to root 3 minus 1 divided by 2 root 2 and 
cos 15 degrees is equal to root 3 plus 1 divided by 2 root 2. And from here, I can find the values of other trigonometric ratios also. So, let's do that. So, cosec 15 is equal to 1 by sine 15. So, cosec 15 will be equal to 2 root 2 divided by root 3 minus 1. And sec 15 degrees is actually equal to 1 by cos 15. So, this will be equal to inverse of this. That is 2 root 2 divided by root 3 plus 1 and if I talk about tan 15 degrees this will be equal to sine 15 divided by cos 15 so this will be equal to root 3 minus 1 divided by root 3 plus 1 or if I solve it further that is if I multiply both numerator and denominator by root 3 minus 1 this will be root 3 minus 1 whole square divided by root 3 plus 1 multiplied by root 3 minus 1 will be root 3 square that is 3 minus 1 so this will be equal to 3 plus 1 minus 2 root 3 divided by 2 so this will be equal to 4 minus 2 root 3 by 2 or 2 minus root 3 and similarly cot 15 can be written as cos 15 divided by sine 15 and this will be equal to root 3 plus 1 divided by root 3 minus 1 and now I'll multiply both numerator and denominator by root 3 plus 1 so this will be root 3 plus 1 whole square divided by root 3 plus 1 multiplied by root 3 minus 1 will give you root 3 square that is 3 minus square of 1 which is 1 so this will be 3 plus 1 plus 2 root 3 divided by 3 minus 1 which is 2 or it can be written as 4 plus 2 root 3 divided by 2 that is 2 plus root 3. So yes value of tan 15 is 2 minus root 3 and value of cot 15 is 2 plus root 3. So these are the value of cos sec, sec, tan and cot 15 degrees. So that's all for this video and for many more interesting videos keep watching MathSmart, subscribe to it and don't forget to press the notification bell because then only you will get to know about my new upcoming videos. So bye bye till then.